Hey guys, this is Sergeant Smarty Pin here. Uh, so here's the thing: we got a request to make a video on how to make a montage. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Um, this is going to go through the process of setting up your Dazzle to your Xbox, and then I'm gonna show you the programs that I use for capturing and editing the clips. So, so this is what you're gonna need. You're going to need a Dazzle DVC-100. There's the Dazzle, and it's got a cord connecting to the USB. And you're going to need three of these things, which are those red, white, and yellow cables that come with your Xbox, except they connect, and it's the same thing on the other side. Uh, you're going to need, obviously, the cable that comes with your Xbox to connect to the TV. And you're going to need three splitters. Now, none of this stuff, none of these three things come with your Dazzle, so you're going to need to buy them separately. And I know some people can set up the Dazzle without splitters, but I'm going to show you the way that I do it using splitters. So, the first thing you're going to do... Obviously, plug this part into your Xbox. Okay. <clears throat> oh, and by the way, I forgot to tell you, when you record with a Dazzle, you can only record in standard definition. Um, if you have an HD TV, you're going to set up <clears throat> everything the same as I just showed you. And make sure that you remember to click this over to TV instead of HD TV. Alright, so this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna take the splitters, and this splitter is gonna be used, let's just say, for the yellow cable. So take the yellow cable from your Xbox and plug it in into there. And then one of the yellow cables that you bought separately and put it in the other end. So it's going to look like this. Both yellow and they come into one one little input. And then you're just going to do the same for the red and the white. Whoops. Okay. Now we're all set up and we have our three splitters ready with these ends running into the Xbox and these cords right now are hanging free. Oh, so now basically all you need to do is under here. is plug these in to the back of your TV or the front of your TV or wh wherever it is. So first we're going to take the yellow one and take that wherever that cord leads to. <clears throat> Probably can't see that very well. But you're going to plug it into the yellow in the back of your TV like you would normally with your Xbox. And then I'm going to take the red plug that into the red and then finally take the white and plug it into the white now everything is set up uh, please notice I don't know if this happens on all TVs but whenever I plug in my dazzle um, it always makes my screen darker so you can just change the brightness in game and it should fix the problem uh, also you can take the dazzle out so just take these three cords out and leave the Xbox cords in the splitters and it'll still work perfectly fine. So you don't need to take out the splitters and do all that. Ugh, okay. The next step is to take your Dazzle and it's got these four four inputs here for the white, the red, the uh, video, the yellow, 
and the S video. The S video is used for, I believe, higher definition recording, but uh, I do not have an S video cable. I don't know how to set it up with an S video cable, but I mean, <clears throat> it's basically just standard yellow, red, and white. So I'm going to take those and plug them into the corresponding colors in your dazzle. Whoops, sometimes these cords are a little hard to stay in there. That's okay. Alright, there we are. And the next thing I need to do is plug the USB right into your computer. Now, if you'll notice this green line come this green light comes on. That means it's connected to the computer and everything's hooked up correctly. So now I'm going to go to the computer and uh, well, I'll show you guys what programs I use. Oh. Sorry for having to use this flip camera to get the on-screen capture. My screen capture um, program is really... I don't know, it just it messes up on me a lot, so I'm just going to use this. Now, the first program I use is Pinnacle Studio Ultimate 12. Um, Pinnacle Studio should come with your Dazzle, unless you buy it used or something. <clears throat> um, and there is an updated version, Pinnacle Studio 14, but for some reason that didn't work for me, so I just use uh, version 12. And up here at the top, you're going to see Capture, Edit, and Make Movie. Go to Capture. You're never... Well, if you do what I do, you're never going to go to these two tabs. So just go straight to Capture. Here, let me... Turn on my Xbox so you can see. Yeah, there you go. Valid input signal has not been detected. And there we go. So this is your preview screen. I turn on my Xbox. Turn on your sound. You should be able to hear it. And then down here it said captured. That's how much time has been captured. And frames dropped. That number will go to four or five. Um, <clears throat> at the beginning of every single one of your videos. But if it keeps going higher, you can either wait about 15 seconds. But if it doesn't stop, I suggest stopping um, capturing and then trying it again. Um, it basically only does that when you're on Xbox Live. <clears throat> um, because of the lag. So you just go down here. I'm not going to go into detail about these two programs. Um, but basically you just go to Start Capture, name your video, whatever. All this should be the same. And then hit Start Capture. And then it'll start recording. Alright, that's basically it. Then you can hit Stop Capture. And you're done with Pinnacle Studios. Now the next program I use is Sony Vegas Pro 9. Uh, I really like this program. It's pretty straightforward for the most part, and it's very simple once you get to know it. Again, I'm not going to go into too much detail about it. Um, but if you want me to make more tutorials or explain how some other stuff is done, then I'll be happy to do that for you. So feel free to ask questions. Now just go up to here, new, you know, just any basic whatever. And then import media button. Again, I'm not going to go into too much detail. But uh, then it should go into your folder where you have all your files. And by the way, guys, sorry for such a long video. If you're still watching, uh, I'll put a step I'll, I'll put a step by step in the description um, so yeah I mean it's basically just really straightforward uh, like I said before if you want me to make more tutorials on like how to crap out these black lines or how to raise the quality and even just basic information on these programs I'll be happy to do it so um, that's basically how I make a montage um, so thanks for watching feel free to ask questions